Greetings folks, this would have to be the biggest box I have ever received. It's 1.25 metre long box. This is the PT-17 biplane from Huckel, however you pronounce that. It's nicely double boxed to make sure it arrives intact. Get rid of the big box and there's not a dent on it. Oh, a bit crunched on the end maybe, which is awesome. I'm a sucker for retro biplanes. I love uh, Tiger Moths and this is sort of similar era or a bit later actually. I've actually flown in a Tiger Moth uh, as a joy ride. We've got a, a company called uh, Tiger Moth Air in Geelong. They used to fly Tiger Moths, now they fly PT-17 Stearman. So, so let's pull this out and have a look. Nice big horizontal stabiliser. Not warped or anything, feels nice and stiff too, that's good. And here we have the wings. Wings, yeah they must have internal spars I think because they're nice and stiff. Great US Army colour scheme. We have Huckel branded servos already installed, push rods and everything. Servo cable coming out here and that's joined in a Y lead. To there and there so if you want to separate your ailerons you can just disconnect there and connect um, add extensions to do that nice big uh, ailerons they look good vertical stabilizer with the unmistakable stearman color scheme we have uh, a couple of three pin plastic hinges there what about the looks like just just foam hinges in the ailerons there's our little instruction manual just a few photos to show how to put it together. Fuselage. And here's the fuselage. It's a sort of a shiny paint scheme. We've got some nice detail in there. We've got exhaust or intake. Nice uh, plastic radial motor detail. Looking good. Looks like this front section can come off with a couple of screws there and there so you can get access to the motor, which is good. Let's pull the top off. We have XT60 battery bay up there. Pretty good access in there, so we'll be able to put a decent sized battery in. Servos, tail servos uh, already mounted in there. And a steerable tail wheel as well. Good stuff. Big prop. And a big... Uh, 12 inch or 30 centimeter prop and another box of goodies here which contains all the interplane struts pilot screwdriver nuts and bolts and landing gear okay let's put it together Quick look at the specs, wingspan 1200 millimetres, length 940 millimetres, flying weight 1550, I bet that's just an estimate, 4 9 gram servos, 40 amp ESC, 36 48 motor, 620 kV, that's a nice big slow spinning motor, uh, 4S battery 2200 is suggested, I'll be running it on a 3000 I think, just have to bolt the landing gear in, bolt the bottom wing on, glue the tail on, uh, glue the struts in, then the struts can be uh, unbolted. That's a good setup, so we know they're going to be uh, in the right spot. Connect it up, glue the canopy on, connect the prop, and go for a fly. CG is 10 millimeters back from the leading edge of the bottom wing. And if we look at the airfoil, it is a fully symmetrical airfoil, top and bottom. That's interesting. It's going to fly upside down nicely.
So there's the Hook LPT17 all built, put together. It was an easy build. Uh, everything's there. Very, very simple. Uh, the only tricky bit really is gluing in the uh, struts. Sort of have to flex the wings a bit to get them to stick in. A bit of a gap between the landing gear and the body. Uh, that's a minor thing. I had to bend the uh, landing gear wire a bit so that they could sit properly. The cowl here is a little bit loose, they sort of need a, uh, another screw up here or we can just tape that in there, that's just a minor thing, that's, that's nothing structural or anything like that, not going to affect the flying. All up weight with the 3000 4S is 1650 grams, maximum current is about 25 amps I think. Um, oh yeah, using the Toolkit RC servo tester and uh, what meter too, they work really well for setting up a model. It's a beautiful looking model, I love it. And I'm going to enjoy some uh, panning FPV I think with a, a t pan tilt up in the uh, cockpit there. Love the colour scheme, it's going to look fantastic against the, the blue sunny sky. When you're gluing anything, you have to make sure you sort of scrape up the uh, paint because uh, the paint is reasonably thick, vinyl -y sort of paint or something. So when the glue hits that, it just sort of lifts up. Uh, so you can't glue to the paint, you have to glue to the foam. Just a bit of sandpaper to roughen it up first. I've added a bit of uh, packing tape to the spots that I'm going to put the uh, camera on just so I don't rip off the, the paint. So we're all ready to fly now, that'll be in the next video, um, but that is how to assemble the wonderful Huckel PT-17. Stay tuned for the Maiden. Thanks for watching.